Okay, so today I'm going to be going through Blood Rage with JK777's solo variant. A slight tweak on this, this is going to be a three player uh, version. So you can see we've got uh, our clan, which is going to be the Wolf Clan, then we've got the Serpent and Raven Clan, which is going to be AI, and their associated AI sheets, which I'll talk about in a minute. We've also got the rules in terms of how the AI plays with a couple of sheets. Uh, in the description below, you'll find the link to the Board Game Geek um, forum where the files can be found, and then you can download those, print those off, and play them yourselves. So what's, what I love, love about this, um, this variant is it plays very, very similar to the actual game. It feels the same. Now, I've played it two players, so myself and one AI player, and it's too easy. Um, you, you basically can romp, romp ahead really, really quickly. Um, so I've, chain, I've tweaked the card drafting mechanic so it's more in fitting with the actual game. And um, hopefully by playing three players, this is my first three-player playthrough using the AI, with two AI opponents, I think that's going to make it a lot more difficult to secure uh, glory and, um, and, and boost myself forward too rapidly, which normally happens in the normal game. Okay, um, so I'm going to take off the writing and then we'll get started and I'll just talk about a few things. So first of all, you set it up just like a normal game. So imagine we're playing a normal three player game. The first thing we have to do is destroy two random provinces, regions, um, whoops, with our <laughs> Ragnarok. Uh, tokens. So the first one will be Horror and the second one will be Utgard. So the blue area is looking pretty sparse and then we've put our three random provinces or areas to be destroyed as the game goes on. And the first one being Murkvor which is here. Now we place our pillage tokens, obviously the green one and the centre like normal and then randomly place the other ones on the other areas and put the other two into the game board. We won't be using them. And then we can reveal. Our rage is always good. Horns is quite good in this as well. Oh wow, we've got loads of rage. Not many axes, so with Glory of Battle, maybe a low-key version. The only additions you need, of course, are the printed um, additions. I'm using, it talks about using the, uh, tokens, and all you would need there for is a dice for each one. And then as long as you've got tokens displaying what number uh, each dice links to. I've just used, I've got a ton of dice, so D6, dice, six-sided dice. So I've just used those on all the player boards. So where it tells you to put the dice and the number on that dice, you put that there as tokens, as, as the game uh, rules would suggest. You also need a counter or marker to display where you are on the upgrade. Whoops, on the upgrade chart as well. So that's why they're all there. We need a dice or a die, a six-sided die to roll. So when we um, when we're actually rolling for what they are doing, we need a six-sided dice. You also need a four-sided dice and a 10-sided dice, so a D10, a D4, and a D6 for rolling. Everything else can effectively, apart from this one, can be uh, markers. This is like the pass die, and it will move up through one to six. And I'll talk about the mechanics as we go through them. So, in the normal game, um, when you come to the ca card drafting element, you normally have um, a hand of cards, and then you draft one card, you pass them over, and then you draft another card, you pass them over until you get six cards. The way that I've tweaked the um, drafting mechanic, there's a whole drafting mechanic in the JK777 rules, which is here, which splits the deck into three different ones, and then you, you uh, draft from those. I just felt that was a bit too, it was too easy to pick up what you wanted. So how I'm going to do it is effectively, you've got your whole deck one, making sure you've taken out any of the... Uh, multiple players that aren't involved. So I've taken all the four plus player uh, cards out. And by the way, I should mention as well, this is just the core box. This is uh, no expansions at all. Uh, although two of the AI board sheets uh, do work on the Mystics. 
uh, so you do need the Mystics upgrade. However, how I've played it, when I've random, you randomly select a left and right hand side for each AI player basically, is that I um, just uh, skip any phase that I can't do, okay? And just move on to the next one. And that's the easiest way to do it. So, six cards first of all. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And we're gonna draft one card from these. So we've got Lord of Hammers, which is a leader upgrade. This is really nice, it makes you move, but it's very expensive, especially for a first turn. Destroying all warriors is always good uh, for monsters. Uh, clan upgrade, two glory whenever at least two enemy figures are destroyed in battle. That's quite nice as well. Quests are always good. Or shall we go Loki style? I think with the fact that we don't have many axes upgrade on the board. Yeah, okay, this is being taken away. I reckon well, let's, let's try and go for a Loki style play. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead for the Loki style. So I'm going to keep this card here. It's only one cost as well. You discard those, and then you draw five. And then you choose one again. That Frigga's Chump's always great. Um, so I want I want a decent um, four figures in Valhalla. That, that ties in with the Loki style really well. Uh, you basically want to get uh, your figures destroyed in battle. Um, that gives you number one points for this, but then if I can get four, that's six points and a clown stat. That's massive. Let's pick up four. Uh, we're not going to be winning any battles. Oh, would you believe it? We've got Loki's dragons. So we're going to hit Loki's dragons. Three. Serpent's always good, especially with Loki's dragons, because that will tie in the same. But I do have Loki's. <laughs> I do have Loki's Trickery as well. Uh, I do like the Sea Serpent. I do like the Sea Serpent. Um, but I do lo like Loki's Trickery because you basically just keep it in your hand the entire time. It's a, it's a, it's a classic and you, it's a way of picking up resources, rages um, while playing. Because we've already got, by playing these three, if you have a look, we're effectively going to be costing all of our rage. So I think the Sea Serpent's not worth it at this time. Then two, uh, Glorious Death, superb. Uh, oh no, that shouldn't even be in there. That's a four plus quest, so that was my fault. So let's grab another different card. Uh, Frigga's uh, Sikor. Fade with any figure, you may invade with an additional warrior in that province for free. That's nice. I think I'll go for that. And then you have to choose the last one. Which is having the most strength in the blue zone, which is probably not going to happen in Jutenheim. Um, okay, so that's my hand of cards that I have to play with this turn. Okay, so I just keep them all out there. Now what you do is you grab all, from the uh, age one, you grab all of the battle cards. Then you uh, just put the rest up here. Doesn't matter if they're not, if they're shown or not shown. Shuffle the battle cards together, and then each AI uh, player will get three of these battle cards to use in this age. So one, two, three for you, and one, two, three for you. Okay, so we're kind of set up now, ready to play. Uh, we've also got our score tokens on. Uh, zero mark, and we are ready to play. I'm going to be first player. It is going to pass on to the left, so clockwise, so it will, it will move around in three ages. So this will be the only time we get first player. So I think it's time to certainly go and get Ragnarok. I think that's key, uh, because releasing from Valhalla is all about Loki's um, thing, and especially, I like Loki's dragons. So I'm going to play Loki's dragons, which is going to cost me two. And of course, when you upgrade with any character, you get to place them on the board for free. And Loki's dragon is going to go over there. So that's my action. So now we pass over to these. And how do we do an action? You basically roll a dice. And then the number corresponding on the D6 will correspond to a number of the tokens that is on here on the player, the AI board. And we'll see what they do. So it's a six, which is upgrade. So it tells you 
upgrade for X, which is the amount cost on the upgrade side. So this is the upgrade pie. You move it down one. The cost in rage is here in the circle. So that's going to cost uh, the serpent player one rage. But now each combat card gains minus two. Interesting. Yeah, minus two. Right. Ah, they're going for a Loki scheme as well. They are going for a Loki scheme as well. They want to lose battles as well. Interesting. That's going to be two Lokis going against each other. Interesting. Um, once you've paid the cost, you move where the arrows show where to go. You move that token up that space. So now if I roll a six again with the serpents, they're going to invade with a ship. Okay, that's their turn. So now we move on to the next AI player who's going to do another... S wow, what a dice. Um, they're going to invade with a warrior for cost of one. And how do you decide where to put the warrior? You roll a d10. Okay, starting with Angle, I believe. Let me just check. Yeah, so starting with Angle Border, we're going to move around. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Obviously, if we go on one of those, I'll explain how it works. In fact, that's going to happen. So that's a three. So we go one, two, three, but you can't go here because it's destroyed. And it says if you can't go there, on an even roll, you go to Yogastru. On an odd number, you go to the province which is going to get Ragnarok. So that he's going to go here. Okay, that's back to us then. So, uh, we're going to have a... I think I need to get into Ragnarok. I kind of... Hmm... I feel like I need to pillage for free to bring up my... I need Rage. Rage is always essential in this game. And I want to lose battles. And I need... Well, I only need one extra Rage, actually. And I've got three before I can start doing stuff, so... See, I've got a few options here. I could try and pillage in in um, uh, Mercafolo. Um, then there'll be a battle between me and the Raven clan. I will hopefully lose using Loki's trickery. I'll steal the rage off the... Oh, by the way, I didn't put them down one. Uh, I'll steal the rage off the Ravens, and I'll lose a battle, and I'll lose my ship, which will give me uh, four glory. So I'll already be kicking off with four glory. But I feel if I can... If I can get, if I can keep the most power in Mercvolor, I'm going to get the bonus power from that. However, saying that, if I'm going to be doing this one, I have to do it before Ragnarok. So I feel that is my play, just to get stuff on the board and get it destroyed. Get stuff on the board and get it destroyed. So at the moment, I'm winning in that area, and if I'm worried, I, th I feel like we need more more uh, battle. In that area. So, with that in mind, I'm going to actually invade for free with my leader into Evaga. I also want to take this area as well, but we'll see. Right, what's the uh, Serpent Clan going to do? They're going to do a one, which is increase their rage stat by one, which is going to cost them one rage, and the rage stat goes up by one. Now on to the uh, Raven Clan again, and they're going to roll a four, meaning invading with a leader, and it says your arrow goes up to invade ship. So the leader is for free. Where's the leader going to go? Let's have a little look. To six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And the invading leader into this area here. Back to Argo. Do, 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 do. Okay, so I've got my leader into there. Do, 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 do. Uh, I can have a total of four characters out on the board. So I think it's now is the time to bring on an, a warrior. And I know it's not very Loki like, but I think I might try and take Gimbal. No, no, no. Now let's go here. 
Let's go to Mus Musflem. Musflheim, sorry. Um, to try and meet that objective. Right. Serpents. A three is going to be invade with their leader. Where's their leader going? Two, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Oh, no, sorry. Four's here. It's even actually going to Yorgosu. So they, they can invade into Yorgosu. They can go straight into Yorgosu, actually, with uh, that invade action, So that, which is pretty nice. Then the leader is free, so they don't cost any rage. Uh, ravens are going to do a five, which is upgrade. So it's going to cost them two rage to upgrade, but they're getting the sea serpent. So when you get the sea serpent, you've got to find the card. Found the sea serpent. And that goes on their monster. And then it gets deployed ASAP. Let's give them the right face. And let's see where it goes. So, the Sea Serpent being like a ship, you roll the d4. Starting with this one, I believe. Hang on, let me just double, double check. And invade. Yeah. So, we're going to start with this one. So, one, two, three, and four. It's two, so it's coming into, oh, annoyingly. Uh, they've now got the most power in the area that I wanted. That's annoying. Right, back to us. Right, okay. So I think, let's just get that warrior destroyed then. Because I'm not going to be able to get three power in that area. So I'm going to pillage here. I'm going to attempt to pillage here. So I'm going against uh, the Raven Clan. I'm going to put forward Loki's Trickery. I know I've lost. Uh, you draw the top. Um, power card from them, which is a plus three. So they're on six. I'm on one. I lose. As per the normal rules, they lose their their card, and we get ours back into our hand. They have got three axes at the moment, so they get three glory from the win. I, with my Loki, steal one rage from them. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I absolutely love that. He goes to Valhalla, which is always good. And because I instigated the pillage, that doesn't get flipped. That's my go. Let's see what serpents are doing. A one. They are increasing their horns by one. And the ravens. A three. They're going to upgrade again. And they're going to... Effectively, it's going to cost them on rage. And they're going to gain an extra two glory... For each figure released from Valhalla, they're already getting one glory from Valhalla, so they've taken three glory from Valhalla. I think we need to bolster Merkvalar first of all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, with my leader, I'm going to instigate a pillage in uh, Elvgar. So how does it work? You look to this file here to see who joins me. We've got two potential joiners. Okay, so we'll start with the Serpent Clan. You read what it says. Um... Is their current porrents, where's their strength? So their strength is three, so plus three or higher. Is it pillaged or Ragnarok? No, it's not. It's unpillaged. So on a five plus, this leader is going to come in, which are two. So the leader comes in. Does the blue warrior come in? Again, it's unpillaged and everything else, but they've only got strength of two, so it needs a six. It doesn't. So... That's going to stay in Merkvalar, which is the place I actually wanted them to get to. So now we've got a battle against two leaders. I'm going to play Loki's Trickery again. And this time the Serpent Clan. Uh, they're not pillaging successfully, thank God. Um, but they do win. So it's a way of burning off their uh, thingies. Unfortunately, my leader now dies. And they get uh, three vit uh, glory. For winning the battle. Okay, back to the Serpent Clan. Oh, but I steal one of their rages. <laughs> Loki, Loki, Loki. Invade with a leader, cannot do. So if there's, if there's an action they cannot do, this is what the pass dice is for. Don't spend any rage and just move it on to one extra. There's a mechanic, basically, that if the... Um, if basically all of these have been pillaged, all areas have been pillaged... They will get extra glory for any unspent rage. So uh, it's probably going to be the Raven's last go. They're going to one. Yeah, it is. They're going to increase their horns by one. 
which will take them to zero rage, and they pass. So how you denote that is you change their pass dice to a six, so you know that they've passed. So the ravens are out of the game now. Ah, but wait. There is something. There was something. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Here we go. If Ao's turn has zero rage, which just happened, change the pass dice to six, select an unpillaged province in which the AI has the hardest strength and pillage that province. So we're the highest strength. So we've got three and we've got three. So let's roll a d6. It's going to be one, two, three. It's going to be Maskelheim. Four, five, six is going to be Gunner. So going to pillage here. No one to interact with that. So they're just going to get the horns. Take them up to six on the horns. Okay, so when an AI comes to a pass, they basically gonna, um, they're going to pillage an unpillaged area. Simple as that. Right, back to us. Um, okay, we've got tons of... This is good. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for Frigga's Sakura for now, which is going to cost me two rage. Let's see what serpents do. Four which is going to be invade with a monster. They haven't got a monster, so pass dice goes to a three. Then it's us. I think we're going to... We need to get rid of two more characters. A four Ragnarok. Two more characters before Ragnarok. So what I'm going to do... Yes is I'm going to invade, and because I've now got Frigga's Sukur, I've got, I'm going to take two warriors, I get to invade. Whenever you invade with a figure, you may invade with an additional warrior in that province for free. Let's have a go with them. Four, it's now on an invade warrior, it's going to cost them one rage, and the warrior is going to go in 10, which is Yorgosir. By the way, we're going to get glory for any uh, area they have the most power in as well. But uh, we're trying to hit what we need to hit. So... I need to lose. Which may not happen. I might actually win this. That would be a disaster. Let's have a go. So, we're going to pillage here into Gunnel. Which we've got 2, 3, 4 compared to 3. So, first things first... Is Merklevor going to come in for it? So, we're looking at this row here. It's unpillaged. It's a six. If he gets a six, he's coming in. He's not. So, it's just going to be us. I'm going to play Loki's Trickery and hopefully they win. A zero is still good because I think everyone dies on a zero. Oh, it's a one. It is. It is perfect. This is the perfect value because I believe on a tie in a battle... All characters die, no one gets the thing, if I remember rightly. Let me just double check. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to find, I'm sure it was a draw that everyone dies, is that right? In case of tie, all, all participating players lose the battle. All losing players must destroy all their figures that were in the battle. Oh, man. That, that was the perfect result. We both get these back. Um, I did, we both lost. So mine still triggered. Oh, this is so good. That couldn't have been better. These all die. Because I lost my ship, I gained four glory. Because I lost with Loki... Uh, I lost, so I steal one rage, which takes them to zero. It gives me three. Um, I pillaged here. I was unsuccessful. No glory for uh, the battle, and I don't pillage. But that was awesome. I've now lost all of my characters, which is that one. Now the serpent is on zero rage, which is even better. Then they're going to pillage in an area that they've not got. This is it. Oh, no, this is not them. Uh, so either here or here. Uh, it's where they have the most strength, so they're going to pillage here. Is they, are they going to come in? Let's have a look. 
A five? No, it needs a six, because I'm pillaged. Uh, not that they can pillage anyway. Um, so this just gets pillaged for free. They got to eight rage. Oh, wow. Uh, but they don't get any glory for battle. Okie dokie. So they're both out of rage, so it's just me now. So I'm going to quest and quest. I'm not going to get the blue quest. In fact, the blue quest shouldn't even be in the pack because it's a four plus. So that was a bit of a mistake from me. Um, I will just grab a random one card, which is a uh, yoga slim, which is. Well, they've only got one strength there, but the fun chance of me getting there with three power, well, there's a chance. I'm definitely going to take uh, Merkville. That's that's going to be my number one play, of course. Um, well, one, two, three. Yeah. So let's do Glorious Battle, because I know that's definitely going to take place. Let's spend one to bring in Loki's Domain. That's not going to happen. Uh, do I want to keep that for next time? No. I'll put it in. I don't really care about it. Oh, actually, no. We'll keep it out because if I need to use it as a battle card. Um, then we're going to spend one power to bring in one warrior. Or do I want to just pillage for free somewhere? Well, it's not necessary for free because they can move their characters in. And they got no rage to steal, so no, I won't do that. And I'll spend another one to put another warrior here. Okay. I think that's my best play. So, uh, we've now finished, everyone's finished their actions. I don't get to pillage for free. It's only the AI that get to pillage for free. So now we move on to discarding down to one card. So I'm just going to get rid of this one. Um, they need to discard their battle cards down to one. So randomly select one. And the same with this one. Uh, so that's discarding down. Questing. Yes, we do quest. We're going to quest for six points, which takes us to ten. Um, because we have got four figures, at least, in Valhalla. Before Ragnarok, and we get to increase, that's definitely going to be our rage. Uh, then we we uh, destroy Merkvor. Um, and because we have the most rage there, I believe that's the case. Or do, do they get still get rage? I don't, do they still get points? That's what I'm not 100% sure. Hang on, let me just check. Let me just check. Uh, blah, 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 blah. When I promise it doesn't feel things. All figures in the province and it's for die in place in Valhalla as it's class. The amount of glory granted is indicated on the Ragnarok slot with the air track. For each of the figures destroying Ragnarok, players gain two glory in the first age. I thought you had to be the one with the most power. Oh no. See, I didn't know that. I thought you had to have the most power. So, we get three people die from Valhalla. Look at all my characters in Valhalla. I love it. The Loki glory, glory stats. There's two per character, so I'm going to get four. The blue team are going to get two. And that is Merc Floor done. And now we release Valhalla, the most important one for me. But before we do that, the highest strength in the province. So, we've got... Two provinces, so that's four glory for the yellow, and one province for the serpent. That's a shame, if this wasn't destroyed, that would be two provinces, which is going to give two to the blue. So they're on seven. Um, then it's glory from released from Valhalla. Now the blue's going to get a bit, of, um, a bit from this. There's no yellows to be released from Valhalla, so nothing's going to happen with that. We also got to remember that each combat. Oh, I forgot about that. I don't know. It was the blue team that I was going against. Yeah, it was the blue team here that I was going against, not the yellow. So that was correct. I don't know about here. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I shouldn't have. 
It's minus two strength for yellow. I'm going to have to try and remember that. I hope that didn't make a difference. Anyway, two characters relief from Valhalla for the blue team. And they're going to get one plus two is three for each. So that's six. Taking them to 13. I take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven figures from Valhalla worth one glory each. Give me seven points, which takes me to 21. So keeping up ahead, like it, just what I wanted. Um, and that's releasing Valhalla. And we're next to the next age. So let's unpillage any pillaged. Oh, I forgot to unpillage that one. We all know what that one does. Uh, that one's been done. Awesome. A pretty good start. Pretty happy with that. Uh, right, okay, so we're moving on to uh, round two. So we do exactly the same thing as before. Shuffle the cards up, and then we're gonna draw, we're gonna draw six, and draw one, five, draw one, four, draw one, three, draw one, deal two, draw one, and take the last card to get six cards in total, just like the full game. And sorry about my son there, he uh, doesn't want to go to bed. <laughs> so, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, have we got any glorious death? Is always good, unless there's something very special. Oh, Ragnarok is always good. By the way, where is Ragnarok? Oh, Valgar, which is where their leader is. Hmm. I think we're going to go for the same again. We're going to try and do that Ragnarok. Not Ragnarok, uh, Valhalla. As for normal, that is very much a Loki technique. Uh, and then we'll go for five. Lord of Axes. No, don't want that. Don't want that particularly. Right. Um, we'll probably go with this one. We might be able to get the most strength here. So it's all but one of his figures. That's quite fun, but it's not it's not fitting to what I do. So we're gonna get that. Now we go four. Uh, no, no. Oh yeah, fire dragons is there. Hell yeah, that's definite. <laughs> I don't care about anything else. Uh we're on three. Yeah. Three. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. None of those really fit what I do. What don't I want them to do? Probably Thor's Oath. Yeah, I'm going to hit Thor's Oath just to stop them from getting Thor's Oath. But then it's two. Hang on, is that right? One, two, three, four. Yep, two. Uh, you may pay one to defend the destroyed. Don't do one that. You may pay two rage to repillage. Yeah, that'll do. And um, my final card is, okay. So not a great draw for what fits with Loki, to be honest. Um, and again, get all the battle cards out. And now you give those a shuffle. Got a lot of battle cards for someone who's doing the Loki style. <laughs> Not great, not fantastic, but we have got the fire dragons. That was so important. So, uh, first of all, three cards for them. Three cards for them. Uh, then, give the... Oops. Try not to move the, the dice. Uh, then we give those a shuffle. Try not to look. Because then you can... Oops. You can tell if they're level one or level two. So I'm not looking, I promise. And the other team. Not looking, I promise. I'm not card counting or trying not to do anything. Okay. So we are now done in terms of setting up for age two. And we are ready to go. So his first player moves over to Serpent Clan. Uh, let's get a rage reset, which goes up to eight for them, goes to six for them, and goes to seven for us. Right, what are serpents doing? Let's have a look. 
A five. A five is invade with a warrior for one rage. The warrior is going in. <laughs> you So they're beast boosting up that area. Um, then we're going to go with the Raven Clan, who hit a one. So they're going to increase their axes by one, which is going to cost them one rage. And now it's us. So I think we put our boat out. I'll probably go up the north uh, just to get it destroyed. Um, or do we want axes? No, I don't want axes. 100% don't want axes. Um, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do fire dragons for two. It's gonna cost me two, and I'll place my ship here. Let's see what serpents are doing. A three. Invade with a monster. They don't have a monster, so oh, sorry, I should have reset the pass dice to two to one again, as they are in a new round. So they just pass, if you like. Where do I just put the dice? Where's the red die? There it is. Uh, Raven Clan. Uh, they're going to increase their rage by one. Okay. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Hmm. I kind of want them to start attacking first. I'm going to invade for free. I want more rage. I want more. Hmm. I want more rage. So I'm going to actually go into anger of Vorda and try and win that province because the Serpent Clan have got minus two on their attack cards. They're going to bolster. Now we look at where it says to bolster. Bolster the province where Aeon has the highest strength with the highest strength available character. So the highest strength available character is this. So that's going to cost them two. And it goes to the place where they have the highest strength. So unfortunately, that's coming in with me. Which is really disappointing because if their leader comes in, it's very likely that we're going to lose. Not that I mind, I've got Loki's, uh, Loki's lovely treachery card. Uh, three is invade with their leader. Where's the leader going? It's going to six, one, two, three, four, five, six, to here. And that's free, of course. Uh, we will... Hmm. Yeah, we're gonna spend one. Because uh, we've got this ability. Oh, actually, when I invaded with a figure, I forgot about Frigga's Succor. It's amazing. I invaded with that one. Boom. I invaded with the ship. Boom. So we can do. <laughs> we can just place out warriors. I forgot how powerful this card is. Um, and then we. Uh, did I just spend one? I don't know. I've all I've spent so far is two. So no, I haven't. So uh, I have literally just spent another one. So we're going to invade again, and we're going to invade over here. I'm just going to go mad, or I don't know, or shall I just take... No, um, no, I'm actually going to invade over here, after all. Okay, moving on. Three is invade with a warrior, it's going to cost them one. And the warrior is going to go in nine, which is going to be the place where it's going to be Ragnarok. So they're going to place there. Uh, Raven Clan. Is that definitely true? When you invade with any figure, you may have an additional warrior in that province for free. Ah, in that province for free. So no. So uh, I have to take one of the warriors because the ship wouldn't have been a province, I don't think. Um, and they're going to do three which is invade with a ship, which they do have, so that's gonna cost them two. And they're gonna invade in Fjord. <laughs> oh wow, a busy Fjord up there. <laughs> Wowzers. Uh, <laughs> crazy stuff. Um, oh. So let's spend one and invade with two warriors. I want this area here. Okay, serpents. Five is uh, pillage. So where do they pillage? You look at the board at pillage where the AI has the lowest strength compared to all others. So the only area they've got, actually, they can pillage here. 
because this one can pillage into here. Now, we're still going to have to roll them for them to see if they're going to join the fray. So starting with, uh, this is a three-way battle. So starting with uh, the serpents, is, is the leader going to go in? So it's plus three or higher, and it's unpillaged. So it's a five plus. No, they're not. They're not going to go in. So it's just a battle as it is. So I've got three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I do have the plus two if I want to win. Oh, seven. I want to win this. I'm not instigating the pillage, though. But I'm still going to get three glory from if I win. We're all in this. I think I'm going to play Thor's Oath. Yes, I'm going to play Thor's Oath. So I'm on three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Serpents are going to play this one with a minus two strength. And um, they're going to play this one. So... <laughs> Discard all reveal cards, gain glory of the highest strength. So that ticks before anything else. So four. They're going to gain four glory. Taking them to 11. And then we discard all of these cards and play new ones. Um, so I'm going to play... I might be trying to get this. So I'm going to play Tears Challenge. And they will both play these. Minus two on that, so that's a plus four. And that's a plus five. Oof. Okay. So, two, seven. Uh, the blue team are on seven. The yellow team are on uh, five. No, four plus two, six. And I'm on seven. But I didn't instigate. Who instigated the serpent? I didn't instigate this. So I could win with Herm Hoyle's I. Or I could draw and therefore everyone dies. I get my four figures and my ship destroyed, which is going to give me eight glory. I think that's a better option. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do that. We're all going to lose. So all of us get destroyed. And because... Well, there's my four characters I needed to get rid of. And because my ship is destroyed, I get eight victory points, which takes me to 29. Fire Dragon's Loki challenge going on straight there. Okay, that was the Serpent's Go. So now we move on to... Uh, that was free, by the way. We move on to the Ravens. They're going to invade with a warrior. It's going to cost them one rage, and the warrior is going to go in your district. Okay, uh, right, what's my plan? Um, hang on, let me just check. Yeah, so you always locate the one with the highest figures. So they will come in for the raven from here. And Serpent from here. I think it's still worth an effort to pillage in that area. Yeah, I'm going to pillage in here. So, first of all, Serpents. Are they coming in? It's not been pillaged, so it's going to be a five up. Nope. The Raven from here, it's not been pillaged. Uh, but they're on plus three, so... Sorry, that was a six up. This is a five up. Nope. No one's coming in. I pillage it for free, which puts my Raven slap. My rage up to eight, which is quite nice. I've currently got one, two, three. Ah, oh, I've cheated. I had too many characters on the board. I could only have four characters. I had way too many characters. Ah! Whoops. That's really bad. Uh, with that in mind, I'm just going to take two characters off. I'm going to have to. Um, that's the only fair way. Oh, that's really annoying. Okay, right, serpents, what are they doing? They are wanting it, so they are going to put their axes up by one. Got to keep an eye on that number they can have. They can have five, so they're fine. Raven Clan, last action, probably invade with a monster. No, no, they can't do invade with a monster, so that's going to move their pass die onto two, because they're unable to do that action. It's over to me. 
Um, I'm going to... Hmm. I kind of want to go to Ragnarok. I want to get Ragnarok, ideally. I'm going to pay one. No, I'm not. I'm going to. Um, I'm going to quest. Serpents. A five is upgrade, which is free. Which they've now got the uh, uh, the Loki ship. I want to say Loki dragon, which is for glory when the ship is destroyed. Although it's been destroyed already, so that's good. Uh, let's see what the ravens are doing. And they uh, now they're finished because they're going to put their horns up by one, which takes them to zero rage. Where have they got the highest strength? Their highest strength is here or here. Let's see which one. One, two, three, four, five, six. He's going to pillage here. Will. Either as, uh, so first of all, do I want to go in to pillage? Oh, hell yeah, I do. Uh, so we're going in as well. Um, just so we can um, get destroyed, basically. Uh, do they come in? Uh, it's going to be a six up. No, they do not. We play off. I'm going to play Lokis. They're going to play Voomph. Destroy one warrior from each opponent before comparing strength. So he gets destroyed anyway. They pillage and their axes go up by one. Which means they win the battle with five VP. So perhaps it wasn't a good idea. I just gifted them a load of VP. I keep this. I can't steal any rage because he doesn't have any rage. Which is a bit disappointing. So that was a bit rubbish. Okay. Um, so that is the Ravens now completely finished. Let's put their pass down to six. And we are now up. So let's put two characters in here. Obviously when I invade, I invade... For one extra free. Hold on. Yep, that's good. And then we can just go and uh, take this area for the quest. That will work. Serpents. Four is bolster. So the high strength characters are one. And it goes to their bolstering is the way with the highest strength. So that oh, they can't go here. So I have to go to Yorgoshil. They can always go to Yorgoshil. Um, all of them. So that's fine. Uh, we're going to spend... We're going to quest. Next. And Serpents will... Upgrade. It's another three. Another... And they've got the low key. They are definitely low key. They're going to steal one rage from the, from the winner. But we're hoping to lose. I think we might need to pillage there. No, I kind of... I want them to instigate the pillage. Or do I? I could steal a rage from them. Well, they are four against two. They should, yeah. Because uh, they're going to pillage there anyway. Because they've got the most strength there, rather than Yugoshu. Um Yeah, I'm going to attempt to pillage here. So, uh, will they, no one else can come in. Could I play Loki, Loki's Trickery? Oh. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. This might be bad for me. Minus two strength. No, the combat card gets minus two strength. So you can only get to zero. So that's fine. So they still win. That's lucky because uh, steal two glory from the winning player. We're lucky here. So we die, we lose. Uh, they uh, didn't instigate the pillage. But they still get four... Uh, Glory for the winning of the battle. However, I steal one of their rages from Loki's trickery and Loki backstab disappears. Thank the Lord for that. Um, okay, so that was my attempt. Let's see what they do. A two is invade with a leader. That leader has been used, so let's put it up to a three, the past dice. What do I want to do? I want to bring in some dudes. Uh, so I'm going to go, uh, I'm going to go here and just leave them there, I think, no I'm not, <laughs> I'm going to go here, okay, uh, serpents are going to do a two, which is invade with the monster, another thing they can't do, so past ice goes to a four, 
I'm going to spend one to just put one character here. I should be able to control that area for the win. Then Serpents are going to three it, which is Bolster. So they're actually going to spend their last might, last might, their last um, rage to place into one, two, three, four, five, six into here. And I think I, I think it's if they're... Oh no, if it's been pillaged, then on an even number, I think they go to Yorkshire. Yeah, they do. Uh, it goes to, so if, it, if, they, if you're going to place them in a pillaged area, they go to Yorkshire instead. Okay. So, uh, we're going to have a battle because they've run out of rage. Where do they have the most strength? They're actually tied. They got four strength in that one. They got four strength in that one. They're both pillaged. Uh, they both need to be pillaged. So, it's, it, yeah, which roll off, I guess. Yep, we're going to roll off. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. It is going to be in Yorgoshun. And now, are they going to move in? So, uh, number one, um, I'm, I'm not. Oh, no, sorry, it's going to be Ravens first. So, is this leader going to go in? It's being pillaged. Plus three or higher and being pillaged. So, it's a one plus. What? Oh, sorry, it's above a one. <laughs> so, they come in. Now, do they come in? Uh, so, uh, it's unpillaged, three plus, five or more. Five or more? No. So, it's going to stay as it is. Okay, so it's a battle between these two, um, with the serpents instigating. They're going to place this card. And they're going to place this card. So really good news for me is they've lost all their power cards. Uh, they've got 5 minus 2 and they've got plus 1. But before comparing strength, it destroys all but one of their character. So of course, they're going to destroy that. And they're going to destroy all three of them. Which means they are on 3, 4 against 4. <laughs> this is brilliant for them. This is brilliant for the Serpent Horde. Okay, they're not going to get Yorgos Hill. But all characters are destroyed. All cards are destroyed. Um, so yeah, that's pretty, pretty brutal. And no victory points again. They're going to get a fair amount. They're going to get. Um, I don't know. Steal one rage. No, there's no rage to steal. It's not quite upgraded enough to get uh, the extra glory. You could have been getting four glory from every figure released from Valhalla. On the next upgrade, that's horrendous. He, this guy's already getting three glory for each figure. Um, but he's only got three figures on there. Okay, they're all done. I've got one rage left. Do I want to pillage? Do I want to pillage? Um, or do I want to just grab the, th the six VP? Yeah, no, I want to I wanna just... Grab the 6VP, so, uh, you know what? I don't really want to do anything. I would really like this, but I'm not going to be able to get it. Well, although, they've got no cards. What strength is that monster? Three. Oh, I could take... No, I couldn't, no, I couldn't. I wouldn't have any rage to use it with. Fine. I'll just waste my rage. I don't actually need to use it. Okay. That's the end of the phase. So now we move to discarding down to one card. We'll get rid of this one. Um, leaving Loki, Loki's trickery, of course. Um, hopefully we get the better one uh, soon. Uh, then we go to questing. Uh, this is where we're doing well. Uh, we do contain the most strength in this one. Uh, which gives us 7 VP. Takes us up to 36, and we can increase. Let's increase our horns, of course. Um, then we've got at least four. Yeah, we got at least four figures in Valhalla. For eight, takes us to uh, 44, and we'll increase our horns yet again, just because there's so much rage on the board, and I don't care about axes, of course. Being Loki, that was nice. Then this is going to be destroyed. So first of all, um, 
Let's do the Serpents being first player. So they're going to get one glory for... Oh, no, it's released. So, first of all, they get two figures for six. Takes them to 21. I get two figures for six. Takes me to uh, 50. So I'm scooting ahead a bit here, but hopefully when they start to get leveled up, it might it might even out a bit. I'm going to get a ton in a minute with all my characters destroyed. Um, that's destroyed. Uh, da, 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 da. They, who has the most power now? Uh, they've got the most power in one province for two glory. So the blue get two. Um, then we release Hal Valhalla. So, yellow team. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven figures released for seven glory. Yep, for seven glory. So, yellow hits seven to 28. Blue, one, two, three. Three figures for Three each is nine glory. Takes them to 29. <laughs> and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Nine figures for nine VPs take me to 59. So the Loki, the Loki engine is uh, really running now. Um, but we will see if they can get their clan stats up. Which is very possible, uh, things could go very different. Right, where are we going next? We're going to. Oh, Angroda. Yellow's getting taken out. Uh, let's change that to one. Oh, sorry, I, oh, and I've ma completely made a mistake. You need to reset the dice at the start of each age, which I didn't do, which is, could have been a bit of a problem. Uh, six, five, three, four. You should reset the dice into their original positions. I knew I'd make some mistake anyway. Um, that goes up to eight. That one goes up to seven. Mine goes up to eight. Cool. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And then we're ready to do age three. So let's do our drafting first of all. Not necessarily over, but we're looking pretty good. Um, I like Frigga's Sukkur with uh, with the Loki mechanic. Just getting loads of warriors out there. Now I've got my horns up. I can at least have six people and not cheat like I did in that round. So I don't. I th hopefully, it wasn't too badly going wrong. Uh, glorious death again. Awesome. Glorious death with 11 VP, that's a no-brainer. Five, oops, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. Ooh. After you reveal a quest card in combat, you may treat it as a plus for now. Don't want that. Oh, these are terrible. Oh, double the amount of awards you can, yeah, that was, that was fine. Um, down to four. Loki's poison. If you lose, take the winning plate now. Gain glory to equals to strength. That's always a good one. Yeah, I think I do hen oops. I'm not gonna get yoga show. I don't care about that. Although if my questing is gonna be doubled, perhaps I should go for that for the last round. No. Stick with Loki. Uh, going down to two. No, three. Uh Thor's primary Hamel's thing. Oh yes. Eternal Dragons is next, and two. Mm -hmm. Including yours, that's probably worth having. And one, your time. It's gonna be really hard to do. So, not a phenomenal draw, uh, but not bad. All the same. Right, three. They haven't got any card, battle cards to keep from last round. Uh, 
Let's check there are not four pluses. No, they're not. Right, so the three battle cards each will be. One, two, three. One, two, three. I've been very lucky with a lot of draws. That is a perfect Loki, um, Loki play. Hitting draws means that everyone dies, so you're hitting what you need to do. You lose, so you get the Loki trickery, but they don't gain any glory. I mean, it's massive. So I've been very lucky with that. Okay, uh, first player count goes on to the Ravens. I think we're all ready to go. Yep, so Ravens are. Final age, six. They're going to invade with the Warrior for one. And the Warrior's going to go to... Oh, sorry, I need to flip these. That's it. So the Warrior is going to go to number one. Okay, my go. I'm definitely going to put my ship out for two. Uh, bank, and that ship is going to go. Yeah, ship's going to go to here. Okay, serpents. A five is invaded with a warrior for one. Warrior is going to go to Yurgishun. Whoops. Ravens. They're going to upgrade for free. Ah, each pair of warriors plus three strength. Or three strength, not plus three strength. Um, then we've got quests and an upgrade, so I think. Hmm. As long as we get four cat figures, which is just going to happen, I'm not going for the points from this. The stats, don't care about them. I just realised something. Oh no, no, that's right. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to just go straight ahead and do Odin's Throne. Serpents. Three is invade with their leader. Which can invade to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's Ragnarok. So it is destroyed. So they go to an odd number, which is... Oh, that's serpents, sorry, not them. That's serpents. So they're going to go to there. It's free. Ravens. A five, which is invade with a warrior. Which cost them one. And the warrior's going to go to eight, which is taken. So that's going to go to Yorga. Yorgasha. On my go, I'm going to quest. Uh, no. Yeah, I'm going to spend one to put two characters here. Oh, am I going to win that though? Hmm. Hmm. Ah, um, I might win that because I've got two, four. It's a minus two strength. No, I think I'll still lose. And I've got this, so yeah. No, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Uh, serpents. Six is going to be to upgrade for one. Ah, now they're getting loads of points from Valhalla. It's going to happen soon. The Ravens. A three is going to be an upgrade for two. But, oops, the other way. Uh, but they're going to increase their rage stat by two, which takes them... Very close to the plus 10 glory. Nice by them, unfortunately. I think I'm going to put my leader. Is it glory I get? That's nice as well. I'm going to keep him as backup. I'm actually going to quest. Serpents. A ton of power points they've got. They're going to invade with their leader. Can't do that. So they move up to a two on the uh, dice. Ravens. Six. Invade with the monster. They do not have the monster. So it's on the board already. So they go up to a two as well. Uh, I'm going to quest. 
want to leave my options open. A three is invade with a monster. They don't have a monster to invade, so they go up to a three. By the way, it's five glory for each unspent glory um, um, rage point. So it's a lot. A two is an upgrade. They're going to bring on a fire giant. For a... Oh dear. Um, which is not good. So let's just find the fire giant a minute. What's the frost? Is it in the two? I think it might be. Yeah, it's in the two. Uh, which was over here, if I remember right now. There it is. So the fire giant is going to cost them two instead of four. When this monster invades a province, destroy all enemy non monster figures in it. So I don't. Is there any special rules for fire giant? I think it's. Um, you just roll the dice, I think. Okay. It's, it's, this is all. This is included theirs. But they're going to get a load of points anyway. A seven, I think, is going into this area. And that's about to get absolute blasted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It is odd. He comes down to here, and if you read his card, when invades a province, destroy all non monster figures in it. So that's my ship gone, which gives me actually 12 VPs, which takes me to 71. Um, their leader dies. I lose two guys. And it does say, or does it say enemy? Oh, enemy, 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 enemy. enemy. So they're now controlling the area pretty strong. In fact, they're controlling the board pretty well now. Wowzers, that was a beastie. We love that figure. So cool. Wow, that was, that was a pretty nice turn. Uh, they've only got one rage left, but still. Yeah. Okay. They're going to be getting a fair amount of points from Ragnarok as well. I've, got, I've only got one character on the board, so I think what we're going to do is spend one rage... You guessed it, to bring two guys onto here. I try. I need to control the blue, don't I? That sea monster's got three health. Wow. <sighs> Brutal. Right, sea serpents. Serpents, what are they doing? Three. They're going to invade with a warrior, for one. And they're going to invade in... One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh... Then the Ravens may be doing the last action. They're going to bolster, which is going to cost them the last action. And they're going to bolster where they have the lowest strength among figures. So they're going to bolster to here. Then, because they've run out of rage, they're going to um, uh, pillage with the place they have the most strength. Of course, they've got six strength over here. They're going to pillage there. Now... The yell, uh, the blue team from Jagersfjord will see if they will come into this area. So where's my dice? So they're going from a province they've got plus one strength, which is unpillaged. It's a six they need. No, they're not going to move. Are the serpents going to move into that area? And again, it's a six. Yes, they are. And the serpents move in. Okay. So it's going to be a battle between us three. Uh, so uh, uh, I think I'm going to play this card first. Um, her, her, Heimwell's Watch. They're going to play this one. Minus two strength on that card. So they're going to play him with four. They're going to play him with three. But cancel the text of each opponent's card before it takes effect. No! No! How annoying. Oh, that's really annoying. I don't get to steal the rage. Nothing happens. So, four, five, eight against four, five. So the blues have it. That gets shuffled back in because uh, they lost. If you lose a combat, steal one rage from the winner. So, no rage to steal, unfortunately, for them. 
That gets discarded. I get that one back. Uh, and these all die. And they win the pillaging of that. So that gets pillaged first, which gives them an extra rage. Then they um, gain the glory, which is going to be five, which takes them to 34. I should be far enough ahead, right? Um, and they are now done. So let's put their past dice to six. Right, okay. Interesting. Well, I've, got, I've met my objective to, to beat Valhalla. That's not impossible. No, I think you have to have the higher strength, not joint. You have to have the higher strength. Have the most strength. Yeah, so that's not going to happen. So I'm not going to complete that objective, which is a shame. Because that quest worth tons. Don't know. Don't know. Um, I suppose let's put two characters on. <sighs> let's get them Ragnarok, I think. Uh, serpents. Six. Invade with their ship, which they can do. Where's their ship going? Uh, two to here. Um... Do I pass? No, I might as well. Um, I might as well try and uh, get some more rage. Why not? Just for the sake of it. Uh, so let's try and win that battle. Let's pillage there. First of all, the yellow coming in with with the six. Nope. Are the blue coming in with the six? Yes. I think it's only one character. Let me just check. Move the highest strength figures into the area. Nice strength figures into the area. Okay, I've in draw our trust. It's gonna be this one first. Nice! Four glory. Takes me to 75 and we discard both of those. Uh, then we'll do this one. Because if I win, that's fine. So plus two. Bang! If you lose, take the player's reveal cards into your hand. I'm happy with that. I actually win. <laughs> I take them out. I get that up. And I get three VPs for winning. And uh, I get two glory for just one character dying. And then they get both cards into their hand. Right, serpents, one, which is increase their rage by one. Um, I just want to check. Yeah, no. So when all areas have been pillaged or both all AI are on the pass dice of six. Or is it one? Ooh, that might have been thing. No, when all AI, I thought so. So we're all good, we're still carrying on. Uh, expend my one power. Let's just bring him on and chuck him there. And I'm out of rage, I'm finished. So the Serpent's the only one to go, so let's see what they're gonna do. A six is gonna be to upgrade for one. Which is if they lose a battle, invade the province with a warrior again for free. Steal one rage. Sorry, sorry, I couldn't do that. Because they actually stole a rage from me. Because they lost. I completely forgot about that. Where's their ship over there? there are three. Bolster. It's going to cost them one. And they bolster it in their place with the highest strength. They've only got one character on the board. Um, oops. Oh, I didn't even You plonker. I forgot about my leader. Uh, four. Invade with a monster. Can't do. That goes on to a four. Five. Bolster. It's going to cost them one. There we go. 
where's it going? It's going to go to this higher, so it's going to go back to here. And then they're going to invade where they have the most thing, which is here. Yeah, I'm going to go in. Oh, no, it's not my choice first. It's uh, theirs. So it hasn't been um, um, invaded. So it's going to be a staying weight put. I'm going to go in. Uh, I'm going to use this. So I could, uh, it's got no rage to play with. Um, so it's literally just a freebie, free for all. You may play this card so that they win easily. I die. They get 4 to 32. And they increase their axis. Sorry, so it's actually 33 because they get that extra one there and then. That goes away. And that is the end of the third phase. Discard all your cards. Questing. We obviously don't meet this one, so that's just wasted. But we do hit this one for 11. It takes them to 91. Um, and we increase one of our rage stats. It isn't going to make a difference. Uh, let's just choose our uh, horns. Then uh, we Ragnarok. It is here. Uh, two figures for them. Two for me. At four a pop, so that's eight for me. Take me to 99. Eight for blue player, which takes them to uh, 30, 42. Uh, did you want to check something? Um, yeah, that is everything. Okay, that's everything. Oh, sorry, this one should have uh, gone across. Basically, whenever you get three dice in one area, you just move the highest uh, value dice to the next slot immediately. Um, then... What's going on? Oh, that got Ragnarok, rock, didn't it? Uh, then, release from Valhalla. So, start with the first player, blue team. They're going to get three. Oh, hang on. Most strength. Um, oh, this is going to be big. Most strength for blue is one, two areas. So they get four points for blue. Taking them up to 46. Yellow have one for two. Uh, da, 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 da. Then we do Valhalla. They're going to gain three glory for each figure. So it's one, two, three. So they get nine for theirs, which takes them to 55. Yellow, one, two. Only two figures for four each. So that's eight. Uh, takes it to 43. Um, <laughs> three, six, seven, eight for me. Eight for me, which works out at eight points. Which takes me to 107. And I completely forgot I've got Odin's Throne, which actually doubles my quests. So I get another 11, which takes me to 118. Yeah, actually, it was still a rompy. <laughs> it was good fun, but it's way too easy. It's way too easy. Ah, this is every time I've played the solo mode. It's uh, I've I've got over a hundred points, and uh, the AI's been dragging down over usually around about whoops sorry around about here uh, in these points here. Did I miss something? Mm. Nope. Yeah. So I just feel like, uh, I don't know, I really don't know. So, um, that was a playthrough of the solo mode, uh, as it is with a slightly tweaked um, drafting mechanic. To be honest, when I, when I looked at this, uh, you, you uh, top of each deck as detailed in, below and then you draft. And this just allowed you to, to pick up 
even better than what I was just doing. Because I was only picking one card from each section. Actually, yeah. And, and then it goes down. Your choice goes down as you move through the deck. And, and the idea was you only look at half of the deck. You only look at cards from half the deck. So I, I feel that's a fair way of drafting. I think... I love this mechanic. I love this, uh, this engine on, uh, on the AI boards and how it's, how it's different for each one. And I was lucky at the start of the game. I was lucky at the start of the game to get so many draws, I guess. Um, and I did make a mistake by having too many figures out. I hopefully changed that so it did make sense. I think I did. Um, so it was fair. It's just a bit too easy. I mean, getting 118 points compared to 55 is a bit... Now, what you could do, potentially, is have a scoring system. So... If you are 20 ahead, you get this much. If you're 40 ahead, you get this much. If you get 60 ahead, you get this much. Or 60 plus. And it's like a resounding victory, a, a good victory, a close call, and then losing as well. So it'd be interesting um, if, you, if, if you guys play uh, this solo variant. As I said, all the files will be on the description below. It's JK777's um, uh, rule set. It's really nice to just play the game. Um, I would perhaps say even playing with three players, it was perhaps... No, I'd say it's harder playing with more play, more AI because I wasn't able to pillage as much. When you're just playing against one other character, you can take like um, the attacking option and you can basically just pillage, pillage, pillage. Your stats... My stats kept going up to the max, which gives you 30 extra points, which is crazy. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I do like it. I think, I think it, it's close to being balanced because these actions are really cheap. Um, now, whether you should upgrade... Oh, and they've done that even well. They've got two upgrade slots as well, which is good. As well. So everything's good. just doesn't quite... doesn't quite work. Now, I didn't reset the uh, board in age two and now that could have made a big difference because uh, the big thing is the upgrades there are plenty of chances to upgrade that's the most likely outcome so they might have been upgrading a bit more and more and more um stealing three glory from the winner so you're actually stealing glory from the winner and rage so one more and the serpent clan would have been absolutely decimating me um so i feel a few mistakes on my part um, led to a resounding victory on my half. Um, so do bear that in mind. Um, I think it needs a bit of tweaking. I think it needs a bit of balancing somehow. I'm not really sure how. Maybe hitting down to five cards. Instead of six, maybe hitting down to five cards for the player draft. Yes, I think that's the best way forward. In terms of trying to balance Blood Rage solo. Uh, this mode especially. I love this mechanic. I absolutely adore this mechanic. I think JK777 has done a fantastic job. Uh, I think he's just called Jay. Um, but he's done an absolute fantastic job at this mechanic. I love it. I really do love it. Um, I just want it to be a bit more balanced. I'm finding it way too easy at the moment. So I think instead of going for 6 cards, 5 cards, 4 cards, 3 cards, 2 cards, 1 card. You go... Five cards, four cards, three cards, two cards, one card. And then you should have five cards in your hand um, that you can play from. I think that will make it a little bit... Well, certainly make it harder and it might balance it up. Yeah, I think I'll probably do that next time. So, hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm, I'm playing lots of solo variants, especially fan-made solo variants on the channel. You'll see uh, videos for different ones, uh, Western Legends... I did, a, I did a tweak on some of the uh, fan-made solo variants there to make my own solo variant. Love that game. That's such a fun game. I haven't played that for a long time, actually. Um, Star Wars Imperial Assault. I've got some uh, solo content on for that. Super Fancy Brawl. Again, my own version of the solo rules for that. Um, uh, I plan to do some more solo variants. JK777 actually made a solo variant for Rising Sun, would you believe? Um 
and I've given it a little try first of all, and it's really nice. It's really nice. Um, so I want to give that another go. Um, love that game as well. Uh, so it's just a chance to play these games just more. Blood Rage is one of my all-time favourite games, uh, full stop. Uh, and it's it's great to get it to the table uh, as often as I can. So I'm really keen to get the solo mode working. I've also got Sky Tear, which um, I literally just got. And there's a solo mode on that. I'm be keen to get that going. Kingdom Death Monster. I plan to do, I plan to do so much. Uh, I plan to um, start a campaign on Kingdom Death Monster. I'm quite keen to do that. Uh, on the lead up towards Solomon Kane coming in. And as soon as Solomon Kane comes in, I'm planning on doing a solo um, campaign run through uh, of, of one of the, the story arcs of that. So plenty to see on the channel. So please do please do comment, especially if you've played this variant before or you've uh, you want to play it and you play it. And what are your experiences? How did you play? What kind of did I obviously went for the low key, uh, the low key route here? But did you go for a different route? How did it play out? Um, what do you think about balancing? Uh, but maybe what I would suggest is go to that five, four, three, two, one in terms of drawing cards and selecting one from each. So you have a hand of five cards per age that you're drawing not f f six uh, that that would be a recommendation okay so until next time see you later